Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this uh, summer poncho here. It's really airy, so um, you can wear it, I don't know, be cute over a tank top or short sleeve shirt or something like that. Um, you could even make it, you know, for a swimsuit cover if you wanted to. That would be something up to you. You can make it as long or short as you want. Um, I added fringe to mine. That's something that you definitely don't have to do. But it's actually really pretty easy. Don't have a lot of space to show you. But let's go ahead and get started on it. Okay, I'm going to take a second to ask you to please not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That way you never miss a tutorial when I put them on or any of my monthly yarn giveaways. So for this project, I used a Lion Brand shawl in a ball. It is a cotton acrylic blend. It is a uh, four weight yarn. I'm sitting here twisted around. Yeah, a medium four weight. It's actually quite, it's thinner. It, it's, it is a four, but it's, I don't know, I would consider it a little bit thin, four or four. But um, it makes a really nice drape for uh, for this poncho. Now, you don't have to use this yarn here. Any uh, four-ply yarn will work, um, but you just, it won't have uh, the drape that this has on it. Now, if you're using this for a swimsuit cover, like I mentioned that you could probably do, I would recommend using probably a cotton 100 percent cotton for that i mean you could use this if you wanted but if you're going to be getting in and out of the water i'd probably recommend a cotton because it's going to absorb the water a little bit better but anyways there are 481 yards in the skein and you're going to need one skein and you'll have some left uh, to complete this and then the color that i chose is called jade pool and this is a one size fits most. And I'm going to be using a size K, which is a six and a half millimeter crochet hook. Okay, you want to start off with a chain of 80. Now, once you get your chain of 80 done, you want to follow it down without twisting your chain. And we're going to slip stitch into our first stitch to form one large ring. So go ahead and slip stitch into that first stitch just like that now we're going to chain one now that chain one does not count as a stitch or anything it doesn't count as nothing so we're going to go right back into that same spot that we just slip stitched into and we're going to single crochet and now i'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch of the chain all the way around until we get back to the beginning It's probably the hardest part. It's this first chain. Just kind of seeing where the stitches go with this yarn. But after that, it's going to be pretty easy. <clears throat> so one single crochet in every stitch. All the way around until you get back to your starting point and when you make it back around at the end of round one you should have a total of 80 single crochet okay once you made it all the way around and you have your 80 stitches you want to go ahead and slip stitch into the first single crochet that you made not the chain one, but the first single crochet. Just like that. And that'll end round one. Okay, now round two. We're going to start off by making the first point of the poncho. So we're going to chain one, and we're going to go back into that same stitch right there that we just slip stitched into and do a double crochet, a chain of three. 
and then go back into that same spot again and do another double crochet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to chain three, just chain kind of loosely, you don't want to chain tight, and then we're going to skip three, one, two, three, and double crochet into the next. Now you want to repeat that four times, so we have four double crochets there. So we're going to do it again, we're going to chain three, one, two, three, remember chain loosely, skip three, one, two, three, and double crochet in the next. So that was two times that we've done that. Again, chain three, skip three, one, two, three, double crochet into the next. That is three times, and then we're going to do it again. One, chain three, skip three, and double crochet into the next. So we did that four times. We have four double crochets there after this point. Now we're going to do another point. So we're going to chain three, and we're going to skip three. And in the next stitch, we're going to make our point. So I chained my three, skipped my three, and in the next stitch, we're going to do a double crochet, a chain of three, and another double crochet into that same stitch. So that just made our second point. Just like that. Okay, now we're going to do what we did over here again. So we're going to chain three, skip three, and double crochet into the next. And we want to do that four times. So that was one. So we're going to chain three, skip three, Double crochet into the next. That's two times. Chain three, skip three, double into the next. That is three times. Chain three, skip three, double into the next. So we repeated that four times. You see it right there. Now we're going to do our point again, our another point. So we're going to chain three, skip three, and put our point into the next stitch. So we'll go ahead and do a double crochet, a chain of three, and then another double crochet into the same stitch. Just like that. Now we're going to repeat it again. So we're going to chain three, skip three, double crochet into the next, repeat that four times, so that was one, or do it for a total of four times, so that was one, oh, my yarn's getting tangled. Sorry about that. So I chain three, skip three, double crochet into the next. That was two times. Chain three, skip three, double into the next. It's three times. Chain three, skip three, double into the next. Just make sure you're skipping three. Sometimes it's a little hard to tell with this yarn, but. So we did that four times, you can see. 
here's our v-stitch and here's our four double crochets after it now we're going to do a point again so we're going to chain three skip three put our point into the next stitch so into the next stitch we're going to double chain three go back into the same stitch again and do another double crochet and now we're going to repeat it one more time till we get to the end of our row here so we chain three skip three double crochet into the next chain three skip three double in the next so that's two times we need a note total four again chain three skip three double into the next So that was three times so one more we're going to chain three skip three double into the next and then at the end here we should have three stitches left so you want to chain three skip those last three stitches one two three and we're going to end by slip stitching into our first double crochet of the first point and that will end round two and if you look you should have four points now on your poncho so one two three four and then you'll have five spaces in between each point one, two, three, four, five. Here's a point. One, two, three, four, five. A point. One, two, three, four, five, and a point. Now for round three, round three is the repeat row for the entire poncho. So what we're gonna do is slip stitch one time until our until we get to our first chain, into our first chain three space. Now we're gonna do a point here. We're gonna chain one, and we're gonna work right through the chain space. We're going to double crochet chain three go back in the same space and double crochet just like that now we're going to chain three and now we're going to double crochet into the next chain three space so right here we're just going to put a double crochet just right through the space like that then we're going to chain three and then we're going to put a double crochet right through the next chain space so it's right through it and we're going to do this until we get to our next point so we'll chain three again double crochet right through the next chain space chain three double crochet right through the next chain space chain three double crochet right through the next chain space and you can see our next is our point so we're going to chain three and then right here in our next point we're just going to do another point in that chain three space so we chain three and then we're just going to go right into this chain three space of this point and work a double crochet a chain of three and then another double crochet into the same point the same chain space of the same point just like that and now we're going to repeat this again as you can see it's just nice and it's just open so we're going to chain three again double crochet into our next chain three space 
chain three, double crochet into the next chain three space, chain three. I'm going to repeat this so we get to our next point. Okay, I've made it to my next point, so I'm gonna go ahead and chain three. And then I'm gonna put a, another point into the chain three space of this next point. So go right into that chain three space and work a double, chain of three, and another double into that same chain three space. And then we're going to repeat again, and we're just going to keep repeating this pattern until we get back around to the beginning. Okay, I've made it back around to my first point here. So I double crocheted there in my last chain three space, and I want to chain three. And I'm going to end round three by slip stitching into my first double crochet of my first point. Now at the end of round three, if you lay your piece out, you should have six little boxes between each of the points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Last time we had five, and this time you'll have six. Six in between the points. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you, we're just going to keep repeating round three. And every time you'll have a one more box in between each of the points so this time we had six so for round four we'll have a seven in between the points and the round five we'll have eight in between the points it's, and it's just going to keep getting a little bigger each time so we're just going to repeat the last round so that's where we slip stitched right over into the first middle of the first point chain one and then do your point right here in this chain three space of the first point double crochet chain three and another double crochet and then we're going to chain three and double crochet into the next chain three space so just right through it chain three double crochet into the next chain three space keep repeating this until you get to your first point Okay, I'm coming up on my this point right here so I double crocheted into that chain three space so I'm going to chain three again and now I'm going to work a point into the chain three space of this point so go right in and double crochet chain three and in the same spot double crochet and then I'm going to repeat again chain three double crochet into the next chain three space and I'll keep repeating this until I get to my next point and then I'll do a point into that point so I'm just going to repeat for the rest of my pattern I'm going to repeat round three or for the rest of my poncho and you want to do that for as long as you want your poncho to be just keep repeating this it's pretty easy and remember you always have one more box in between the points than you did the previous round.
Now I'm at my next point. Point right into the, put a point right here into the chain space. On the next point, and repeat. And as you can see, I have seven boxes now in between the points on this round. The last round I had six. Any round before I had five. So I'm just going to keep repeating this until I get my poncho as long as I want it to be. Okay, I went ahead and did a total of 20 rounds, and that includes the very first round of single crochet. So counting that one, I did 20. Now you could make yours as long or as short as you want, but if you make it a lot longer, you might need more yarn than what I said in the beginning. But at the end, I'm just going to go ahead and clip my yarn. And then you can hide that tail. Now we're going to work, I'm just going to go around the top and clean it up with some, with a row of single crochet. So with the right side of your work facing you, and that would be where the first row of single crochet is the right, is facing you on the right side. Okay, you just want to start back here somewhere in the back. Here's where I put my first point. Here's my string for my very first round of single crochet. Just start back here somewhere. That way the seam is in the back of your poncho. But just go ahead and start your yarn and any stitch along the back. And we're just going to go around the collar here with a row of single crochet. So I'm going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch or anything. And I'm going to go back into the same stitch and single crochet. Now I'm going to work around putting one single crochet in every stitch all the way the, around the collar. That's just going to clean up the, the top edge here. Now, when you make it back around, make it all the way around, back to your starting point, you should have had 80 stitches if, since we started with 80. If you don't, don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. As long as you have somewhere close to that, that's fine. So I'm going to continue to work around, putting one single crochet in every stitch along the neck here just to clean it up until I get back over here to where I started. Okay, once you made it all the way around with that row of single crochet, um, you can do more rows along the top if, if you want. I'm just going to do the one though. And I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into my first single crochet. And tie that off. And remember, you should have 80. If you don't, don't worry about it if you're, as long as you're close to that. And that is pretty much it. I'm going to add some fringe to mine. That's something that you don't have to do if you don't want to. But if you do, go ahead and show you how I'm going to do it here. You want the right side of your work facing you. I'm just going to add a few pieces of fringe. I mean, I'm not going to do very thick fringe, so I'm going to cut um, two pieces. They're probably about um, eight inches long. And I'm just going to put them on in each of the spaces. So you just, with the right side of your work facing you, you can add more strings and make them as long or as short as you want. You just go from underneath with your hook, grab your fringe, make sure they're even at the ends, and pull them through. So I'm just going to have a few pieces of fringe hanging there like that. And I'm going to do this all the way around uh, my entire piece. So again, got two. Uh, how long you want them, you know. And they're gonna, you're going to double them up. So. 
just go underneath your next chain space, pull these through, and then make sure they're even on the ends, and then pull them through like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that all the way around. Okay, once you get all your fringe on, if you put some on, I still got to do the back of mine, but and all your tails hidden, that's it. That's all there is to it. It's really easy. I think it turned out really nice. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you make this or anything else, I'd really love to see a picture of it. You can post a picture on my Bag of Day cro Crochet f Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. And until next time, have a good day.